Today's video is on black women on the conversation on Oprah's OWN network. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And of course, I got to start with my ignorance disclaimer. If you think I'm attacking or diminishing the impact of black women, then you should probably leave now because most likely you don't want to hear opinions outside of your own. And of course, I got to say, if you believe in cursed words, as if the sky will rain blood or rain frogs or some bullshit then you should also leave because i'm tired of y'all saying he curses too much grow the fuck up if you can't take the information slide somewhere else where they can lie to you politely god damn it now the first thing i want to get to is this motherfucking clip god damn it y'all probably understand why i made the video after you watch the intro to black women on the conversation guess that btn did this video because the goal is to expose propaganda tactics against black men and women then you know what the shit is right that's a correct answer but there's another correct answer around this bitch that's because in that intro right there you just saw attack on black people and i mean men and women around this motherfucker and also a attack on people who consider themselves conscious or woke and i know that it's a stigma around it so a lot of people don't want group themselves in with it but it is what it is you awaken to the ills of the fucking planet but i digress around this bitch how did they attack black women then we'll just start there they said that black women always been on the forefront of change uh what change america always been the motherfucking same is y'all talking about civil rights you know because we finally get to eat in a restaurant with them be poor with them or poorer than them is that the change we talking about because other than that nothing else has changed in america god damn it they still getting away scot-free with murdering black men women and children what really changed in america oh we got benefits now you know uh food stamps let's let's get to that because you know what they like to be stereotypical and say food stamps but guess what they had to kick the father out the home in order to get them motherfucking stamps real black women will be pissed off if you put them at the forefront of that because they was they real women would be like hell nah we don't agree with kicking the black father out god damn it that ain't what we was on the forefront of oh, a real black woman so that's an insult to the black woman to me motherfucker and if you thinking that i'm about to just attack black women once again you lost your fucking mind you are witnessing a rebel network around this motherfucker well how did they attack black men black how did they attack black men they didn't include us as usual first of all y'all i know i get it you're reading the screen black women own the conversation so black it's gonna be about black women but i'm saying y'all how come it can't be black people on the conversation, y'all? How come every time we cut on fucking BET is a uh, black girl's rock? Don't say, uh, don't think that I got something against it around this motherfucker you did. It's black girl's rock. Black women, black uh females this and that they even i even saw a fucking uh commercial promoting lesbianism and i ain't saying nothing against that but how come there's not one fucking commercial that say uh save our black boys you dig or black men are here black men count or something you dig so that's a fucking insult not to include black men is a fucking insult and if black men so fucked up and out of the home and this that and the third then i think it's the black woman duty to pick his ass back up remember you the cornerstone pick his ass back up if he out of the home and he hustling and drug dealing pick his ass back up and say that ain't the way brother y'all understand what the fuck i'm talking about here but we st i'm digressing and shit because we got a lot to do right now god damn it we about to get to the host carlos and he gonna bring on the mayor of new New Orleans, Latoya Cantrell, you dig? Put his picture. They go at the top, y'all. Carlos Watson. Boy, you ain't no real Watson around this bitch. And at the bottom is Mayor Latoya Cantrell. He asked her, what is it like managing New Orleans during the coronavirus, y'all? The first foundation that she had to lay down is that this is an Afrocentric city. That's her words. So now y'all understand, or you should probably understand, that they picked New Orleans because it is an Afrocentric supposed city, goddammit. It's majority 
black and shit like that. That's the foundation. What's the next thing she said? Oh, she had to make an unpopular decision and shut down Mardi Gras. You know, people was pissed off, but guess what? We dying. That's that's her foundation. That's the first fear tactic right there, you dig? Because if it's a majority black city and you dying, black people, goddammit, then that means you could die in any city, goddammit. That's what they want you to understand. A fear tactic, goddammit, in case you ain't get it yet. Fear, 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 your black ass could die because they already let us know that they heard the myth. So if they heard it, who else heard it? The elite and the people who run this motherfucking world heard it, goddammit. So they launched a little propaganda tactic to uh have black people think that they getting it too. And goddammit, yeah, I said think, motherfucker. Remember, y'all, everything said by BTN is simply satire and that this does not reflect YouTube views and opinions god damn it all that bullshit but let's continue y'all the narrator said though why is we dying at a higher rate in my bad you know he ain't said like that he said why are we dying at a higher rate and she hurry up and said no access to wealth or health care and we in poverty we don't got no opportunity god damn it and we gotta fight but it ain't gonna happen overnight who the fuck said it was going to happen overnight? That lets you know what she up to, goddammit. She wants you to start boating and all of that old bullshit and play with these people and get spoon-fed by them, goddammit. Well, we took this down. We got this right. Man, get the fuck out of here. We don't play like that no more, goddammit. But then the uh, doctor laid up there and invites someone else on. Put that picture up. At the bottom of your screen is Dr. Ella and Carlos, not a real Watson, laid up there and asked her, how do we go forward, old weak ass uh, question, how do we go forward? She said, we only tested 1% of the United States. Yeah, you heard it right. And you witnessing the rebel network, goddammit. They only tested 1% of the fucking United States, y'all. And you know when they really trying to uh get a hold of some type of fucking disease, they sure as hell don't give a fuck about black people. They don't care to test us. So guess what came out of her mouth next, goddammit? She said they tested blacks at an even smaller portion. How the fuck much smaller does it get than 1%, y'all? So think about that. Why they like, oh, blacks, we dead, 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 goddammit. You see how they is on the news. You see how they is on every fucking thing aspect of your life you cut on vh1 trying to hide all the scrapping and shit man y'all better wash your hands and stay inside and all of that bullshit you try to watch the basketball game they shut that bullshit down even though if it came back yet around this motherfucker you did if you if it did came back i bet they saying wash your hands man stay inside and all that bullshit you did and then look what the lady went on to say dr ella she said it's so many fucking stipulations to even get tested. To even get fucking tested. She said you have to be a healthcare worker around this bitch. She said you gotta be old. And you gotta display the symptoms around this bitch. And on top of all of that, y'all, you gotta have a referral from your doctor. Let's repeat all that shit I just said that you have to have just to get tested. Like, think about this, y'all. If you get A's, can't you just walk in there and get tested like that, you know? They don't say, you ain't displaying no shit. You don't work for these people. You ain't old, so... You know what I'm saying? Or if you have the flu and shit. Matter of fact, even if you break a bone and shit, they don't say, oh, uh, well, it don't look like your shit broke. I'm going to just wrap it up. No, they're going to test that shit out. They're going to get you an x-ray, MRI, and all of that, all, all kind of shit. They ain't going to say, you need this from your doctor. You got to be old and all kind of bullshit. That lets y'all know that some nefarious shit is going on around this bitch. And look what she went on to say as she continued or whatever. She she said blacks don't trust the doctors historically, just like the mayor said, you dig? And she said, who do you call if you don't trust your doctor? First of all, I'm not going to trust them doctors because just like you said, historically, they don't give a fuck about black people. Tuskegee type shit, experimenting on us, injecting shit on us, got in us, my bad. 
You know what the fuck they done did in Africa? You know what the fuck they continuing to do? And the people starting to drive their ass out of there. But that's another story, y'all. And then look what he said, goddamn it. Uh, Carlos, not a real Watson, said, that sounds like a death sentence. That sounds like a death sentence, goddammit. And that's because it is, motherfucker. And even she responded with yes. And he said, well, what can we do? Well, what can we do? Little weak ass, what can we do? Nigga, stand up. That's what you can do around this bitch. But let me not get off topic. She said, speak to your officials. Speak to your fucking officials. She said, get it to the media. Oh, they gonna talk to us. Them motherfuckers don't even show us when we talking about them murdering our fucking children unless we saying, we shall overcome, forgive the murderer, give him a hug, both them gene and all that old dumb shit. God damn it, unless you say, Jesus gonna help me and all of that old, you know, we gonna overcome, let's sing and march and all of that. So you really think the, the fucking media gonna say, yeah, we about to put block talk news on to say some real shit. Man, get the fuck out of here. Or information taken from Block Talk News. You think they really gonna do some shit like that? But let's continue. She said, but you know, we really gotta be responsible for us like always. Of course, like always. What the fuck you thought? You looking for them to uh, be responsible for you? They never was responsible for you. They just took your ass from where the fuck you originated, goddammit. Or if you believe you was already over here. And they enslaved your fucking ass. It didn't make a difference if your ass was in America already while you was black or whatever you believe or if your ass was in Africa and already black god damn it they still wasn't responsible for your black ass and they never will be they probably responsible for enslaving murdering fucking uh putting together all these fucked up plans on the planet but they show sure ain't responsible for taking care of your black ass or making your life any easier and she said some shit about her having a little mobile unit and shit to go test people and we gonna be everywhere you got one van god damn it or did you set up this shit across america and look we'll let you know she didn't set it up across america she said she had to ask all people for testing kits and shit and the white corporation ain't even help us they say you gotta be in our jurisdiction or some old bullshit or with our plan or something feel free to go watch this shit if you think i'm bullshitting around this motherfucker they say you ain't even in our uh jurisdiction or some old bullshit you know you gotta sign up with us and all of that dumb shit you know how they get down the type of little mumbo jumbo they use to not get be alone at a bank that type of shit the parameters and all that old bullshit you did but let me not uh just stick to that let's not uh get off topic then carlos not a real watson brings in well matter of fact let me put the pitch up and shit at the bottom of your screen is community organizer Bree, god damn it. Carlos, not a real Watson, asks Bree, where do we go from here? And Bree responds with, we've been struggling in a crisis. I've been out here fighting for stable housing, better wages, health care, and education. So what the fuck that mean? The dude just asks her, how do we go forward? And you talking about the past, what you've been doing? Oh, you hit a further your career or some bullshit? What the fuck is you? Did we ask for your resume around this bitch? Why is you telling us what you've been doing? And, oh, we've been in the crisis, goddammit. We've been in the crisis. Where the fuck you been at ringing the bell and shit, goddammit? Because I pay attention and I ain't see you being put on cnn msnbc and all of these places who inviting you on brie god damn it where you been god damn it, since we've been in a crisis god damn it but let's continue y'all look what she went on to say look and i want you to listen real hard and as you listen understand that you witnessing the fucking rubble network and you should subscribe if you ain't subscribed already god damn it she said oftentimes when we get together to community build who's showing up black women that's important to know black women have always been at the forefront god damn it y'all hear that bullshit in case you didn't hear me here goes the motherfucking clip and remember this shit is under section 107 or whatever bullshit which means i had the right to have a commentary and shit like that about it motherfucker here go the video y'all as you can see i'm pissed off now let's block talk break that shit down. She said oftentimes, y'all. She didn't say majority of the times. She didn't say less of the fucking times. She said 
oftentimes when we get together the community bill who's showing up black women that's important to know why in the fuck is that important to know y'all and remember what the question was the dude said where the fuck do we go from here and look what she goes on to do divide us talking about it's important to know that black women the only ones showing up oftentimes not majority not fucking less none of that bullshit she says important to be knowing that black women showing up guess what i don't give a fuck if baby showing up black baby showing up black teens is showing up god damn it long as they fucking pursuing the black agenda around this bitch which a lot of you little tv personalities can't even commit to around this bitch you understand me and look what she said black women has always been at the forefront and all of that bullshit and like i said black women don't want no type of credit for how fucked up y'all been treating blacks generationally around this bitch do not put that on black women with your lame ass why y'all here trying to keep people fucking divided and then she continues y'all talking about some we are more impacted by regressive racist policies than any other demographic y'all did y'all hear that than any other demographic which means more than black men if y'all at more risk than black men how the fuck y'all not locked up in jail at a disproportionate rate than other races god damn it because most mostly it'd be white women in them prisons god damn it y'all not locked up like that you understand me uh if y'all go to uh fucking uh child support or some bullshit like that you gonna win the case quickly if you want your kid back it don't matter how fucked up uh your life was or no bullshit like that they gonna always give the kid to the fucking mother you can always uh disown the father and get benefits and shit like that you understand me but black men it's hard for your black ass to get a fucking job. Y'all know how that is, god damn it. And don't think I'm here to attack black women once again. Because these motherfuckers is attacking black women. Talking about they at the forefront of how fucked up black uh people are being treated in America. Ain't that a bitch? But you gonna think I'm attacking black women? And the black women that I'm talking about during these examples is not an example of majority of black women, god damn it. So don't try to take what I just said out of context or some bullshit. But let's continue, y'all. Because guess what? We in prison. It's hard for us to get a job. Look at old Carlos, not a real Watson, y'all. Clean shaven than the motherfucker, right? Me, I can't be BTN and go up there thinking I'm about to get an office job and shit with a beard on or being my motherfucking self. I got to conform around this bitch. And y'all know it's the truth. I better look non-threatening like not a uh, real Watson right there. I better look like Carlos, not a real Watson, or ball shit. How the fuck do he sleep at night, y'all? But uh, let's fucking continue, you dig? Let's continue. She went on to say she fucking not surprised that we dying at a high rate and all of this bullshit, you dig? And that, uh, what she said... She says she wants everybody to understand that getting back to normal is still bad. Uh, duh. Uh, fucking duh. Because being in America is fucked up. The black experience of America. And matter of fact, the black experience of fucking the planet Earth. But I'm digressing because I'm getting mad and shit like. I'll watch the fucking. I'm watching the video right now. And the shit that they saying is just pissing me off. But I'm going to stick to my motherfucking uh, topic, y'all. She said COVID or whatever is just exposing the shit that was already there. Get the fuck out of here. But anyway, let's uh put old Carlos picture up with the bullshit. He, j he bought the ass, you dig? Now, that's Carlos, not a real Watson, of course. He asked the panel, y'all, how many of y'all have been touched yourself or your family by the coronavirus? Most of them raised their hand, you dig? And he said, how many of y'all have contracted it, your goddamn self, and one person raised their hand? And that's when we got to the little propaganda tactic, goddamn it. They little heartstrings propaganda around this bitch where they be like, start crying and you should feel sorry and all of that bullshit. But what they end up doing is exposing themselves, you dig? And I ain't downplaying these women's situation and shit. People died and that's fucked up. You know, you understand what I'm saying? We die a 
we die every day, God damn it. But look what the woman said, Kelly from Philly. She said it took 10 days just to get her fucking results, God damn it. And the other woman, Cheryl, with the other story with her fucking mama, who kept going to the hospital and kept being released, she said. Matter of fact, let me put their pictures up and shit. Now, the old lady at the bottom, you dig, is Cheryl with the blue hand up or whatever, god damn it. You witnessing the rubble network, so you'll figure it out, god damn it. She laid up there and said that her mama kept going to the goddamn doctor and was being released, god damn it. And then she laid up there and went there, y'all, and they finally kept the woman for two days before they even admitted her, god damn it. Kept her in, emergency, in a fucking emergency room for two days before even admitting her her and then it took another seven days for her to be diagnosed another seven days to be diagnosed she said it was even hard to get updates on her fucking mama but they mad at people for uh having a myth about the coronavirus and shit and they focus on uh dividing the black man and woman and shit they ain't even mad at did y'all hear them say anything bad about the hospitals yet about these motherfuckers or even the government yet Hell nah, but they could tell you how fuck the black man, man, ain't no black man, black man don't exist around this motherfucking the myths that's camp coming out and shit like that. Y'all understand this bullshit? You understand it? And look what old Carlos, not a real Watson, end up fucking saying. He said, it makes you want to follow the rules. You heard that? It makes you want to follow the rules. Man, y'all dumb as a motherfucker. You the one leaving your loved ones in the hospital with these fucking demons and talking about following some rules, goddammit. And let's get to him because he brung the male lame ass back on. Put the shit up. Let's block talk break that down. She said she had to organize, you dig? That means somebody gave her the, the um order to organize the goddamn press conference. I wonder who it was, the governor or somebody? And they said it was intentionally aimed at speaking to black people god damn it who told you to go speak to black people and look what she said y'all to let them know that this can affect you you dig letting you know that we about to make this affect you you understand what's going on y'all because this in the beginning remember when we wasn't catching the shit when everybody else was catching it they had a um press conference that she had to organize god damn it that had intentionally targeted the black community to let them know you can be affected you heard her you heard her god damn it and when it came to black people you saw a body language right y'all saw a body language talking about they were saying oh this a white disease and you can't you know it's just them white people getting it how her um whole shoulders were shaking because that's how they think of black people god damn it we just walk around shaking and pimps or some shit you know what the fuck kind of shit is that like how, that's how y'all really see us i'll show the clip again in case some of y'all like for real you know, because sometimes you don't catch the shit right away. Let me show the clip again. Y'all heard her and you saw it, god damn it. Like we just be walking around on some 70s exploitation type bullshit. But anyway, put uh, Carlos Not A Real Watson picture up. There he is, Carlos Not A Real Watson. He comes back on and say, why and how did the myths emerge? And how can we dispel them? Didn't I tell y'all? That's the whole reason that this shit exists. Because they want to dispel the fact, god damn it. That's why you're not supposed to watch they fucked up ass media unless you studying that bullshit, you dig? We just found out the whole reason this show exists, y'all. To dispel the myths. They ain't talking about how to find a cure how we can get more people tested he done for the fourth time done brung up this mitts shit god damn it the mitts that's out there the mitts and shit how can we dispel it and then he brings on dr a law whatever put that pick up and the first thing that she is dr a law bust out and said oh it came from asia and they bought it to the suburbs and then the suburbs bought it to the city and all of that old bullshit. And the rich people gave it to blacks. But she want people to know that rich and poor blacks could get it because the uh, healthcare industry don't give a fuck. If you black, you can die whether you rich or poor, god damn it. And then guess who jumps in? Bree or whatever. Let me throw her shit up. There she go, community organizer Bree. She hops on saying we got to guard ourselves from being perceived as angry. 
You dig? She want everybody to know that it's okay to be angry because these deaths could have been prevented. See? Oh, now y'all don't mind the black woman being angry, huh? Because it's in good use. Because if they angry, then they could convince everybody else that this shit killing everybody. Racks on racks on racks of fucking bodies. Y'all understand? But they ain't say nothing about uh, uniting people, goddammit. You did? Y'all understand that? Black men and women need to understand that they can be mad. She said women. We got to uh guard ourselves as women. Why she not talking about black men, y'all? Why she ain't say we got to understand that um as black people, we got to not be perceived as angry, but this time it's all right to be angry because we could have prevented this shit, y'all. She keeps saying women around this bitch. You understand me? As if black men, we, we don't care how they perceive us. The angry black man, which is the main stereotype god damn it it's bullshit y'all i guess we ain't mad we don't care how we perceive huh? well really we don't no more god damn it with all that bullshit yes she stayed dividing us around this bitch bro now let's get back to oh what's what's his face fucking uh carlos not not a fucking real watson so carlos not a real watson that you see right there he went to a woman named Miss Robinson. I think I forgot to take her picture around this bitch. But all she was talking about is put Jesus in control. And Jesus going to do everything. Did Jesus stop them fucking other bodies from floating? God damn it. If you believe in the numbers count. Did Jesus stop that? Talking about put Jesus in control of your house and all of that. Man, get the hell out of here. Don't bring no Jesus in this. See, they trying to get you from every way they can. That's another propaganda tactic. Use their guard to convince them get the fuck out of here god damn it and then carlos not a real watson he done came up there and said alana how have you been impacted uh i forgot which one is alana you dig and she said matter of fact which one is alana I don't know, but I think it's the one with the red shirt. And she said, we was in a two-bedroom and shit with six people and, uh, you know, another sob story, you dig? And then she said, but thank Jesus, because our fucking stimulus check came. She would say, oh, my stimulus check. Go watch it, dog. They giggled for like five motherfucking minutes. That stimulus came and shit, you dig? She said, it came all the time, you see, fulfilling all the little, the little stereotypes and shit, the little sayings. She laid up there. It was all time. You know how people be. And then she said, because I had to tell my kids and shit, y'all don't be eating like that at school. Why you eating up all the food here? Y'all understand that bullshit, bro? Pure bullshit. Like, I'm starting to get mad now. Nah. And then he brings on Keisha. Shit, I think Keisha's the one with the goddamn red shirt. My bad, y'all. I fucking forgot, but you witnessing the Rebel Network, goddamn it. She start talking about her finances and shit, and she like, her man, now he out of work and shit because of this, you dig? And now she the top provider, so it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Welcome to fucking being a black male. That shit is a lot of fucking pressure, goddamn it. But we do what the fuck we can and what we gonna do, goddamn it. And she said, but she love her, uh... A uh, uh, husband and shit like that. No, she said she loved the stimulus and that her boyfriend has stepped up your shit. He stepped up and shit and started doing laundry and all kind of household chores, which lets y'all know that all black men ain't players and all of that shit. Thugs and drug addict rappers and shit. No, that's not us around this bitch, goddamn it. Then old lame ass Carlos. See him at the top, not a real Watson round this bitch. He brings on Diane. I believe that's the one with the red shirt with the yellow little stripe at the top. And she said she saw an increase in business and shit. And she said um her employees is black and brown or whatever the fuck that mean. Ignore that round this bitch. And she said they ex-cons and shit who appreciative of their job round this bitch. So she happy that she getting the business and said she applied for that assistance bullshit, but ain't never Never heard nothing back, but everybody mad at the myth and so worried about uh talking about black women instead of black men and shit. Ain't nobody worrying about the motherfuckers who ain't even giving out bailouts to black companies. And we gonna further get into that bullshit because then he brings in Jennifer Rose, goddammit. Which one is that? I think that's the one with the green um. She at the bottom right hand corner, y'all. She said, um, they filed for that fucking business loan. I mean that business uh bailout or whatever, but they gotta 
uh, compete with other banks and shit. They say if you don't have a relationship with a bank, you cannot even apply for the fucking benefits. You understand me? And she said they at um they competing with other fucking companies that have the ability to pay them back faster. Y'all understand that? So that means it's not a guarantee that our black businesses, the barbershops and salons and shit, gonna even get the motherfucking bailout. But you're up there attacking black men in the midst and all of that bullshit you understand me you understand me people then he bought in some chick named michelle a female named michelle i'm thinking that's the one to the left with the white shirt and she said it's about investing your money and all of that bullshit look y'all know how i feel about uh economic niggas they bomb black wall street and all the uh ones that was a replica of black wall street sit your ass down with that investing stock market and all that bullshit no it ain't happening and then motherfucking angela the one who was at on at the top on the right side y'all look what she suggested that lady said work less hours and even for reduced pay and this is what the fuck is at the forefront of everything no wonder we getting fucked over. You suggesting that we let them pay us below minimum wage because they wouldn't dare pay you the maximum wage. We should work for the minimum, more of a minimum wage and at reduced fucking hours. Are you insane? But you at the forefront for Oprah. Oprah picked your ass though, huh? And then he talked to Stephanie who said, this the time that we come together. Stephanie is the one at the bottom, second to the right with the blue dress on. She said, we have what it takes to save America. We don't give a motherfucker about no goddamn America. Are you insane? So I quickly was like, oh, she done lost it. And then he brought on the woman named Jaman or Tremont or something like that. And she repeats the sentiment of, it's okay to be angry this time you did see they rather you express your emotion rather than use your fucking brain to know exactly who to express your anger on god damn it you sitting up there mad at the mitts or mad at black people who ain't playing along with the bullshit god damn it instead of being mad at the hospital who ain't even giving you updates if your mom or your daddy or somebody up there or the motherfucking government who put this shit out there god damn it yeah i said it and i my opinion opinion don't reflect reflect youtube y'all know all of that old dumb shit that you have to say so they don't yank your fucking video down with they scary ass why they playing with my numbers and shit but let's continue y'all he talks to dr ayla who hop on talking about focus on what you control you did try not to think about what the hell you can't control this is what's at the forefront no matter no wonder we fucking losing this is what's at the forefront y'all just leave shit alone that you can't control she said set expectations and then she said her only expectation is the prayer to wake up another day and if you keep on worrying about simply waking up god damn it we'll always be at the bottom if that way of thinking is always in the forefront god damn it we gonna always be at the motherfucking bottom what kind of bullshit is that and old brie or whatever her lame ass name is she said uh we as black women we understand that everybody gotta get something in order for us to get what we need yep brie said it god damn it let me go to her Yep, here go Bree, y'all. She said it. We got to let everybody else get their shit and then we'll get something, goddammit. This was at the forefront, y'all. She said black women is the most vulnerable to voter suppression. Look, want you to vote, y'all. She said black women been at the forefront. We, are, uh, we already talked about that bullshit. Real black women do not want to take no motherfucking uh, blame for that bullshit. Nah, we know who been at the forefront. It's the motherfuckers who released this bullshit upon us anyway. The fucking uh, narrator then he thanked oprah and shit you know man thank you oprah let me show his picture he laid up there not a real watson and thanked oprah and the fucking show was over dividing the shit out of black people talking down on black men and uh conscious people you know doing it underhandedly of course because that's what fake motherfuckers do you dig and now we gonna wrap this shit up y'all y'all understand how propaganda work now god damn it and if you don't Fuck, tune in next time. Once again, y'all holla at me.